Hi Aries, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the first week of November 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're seeking a psychic reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. You'll find a link to that below this video. Aries, you're going to get some kind of confirmation or clarity is coming into you this week. Something I think you've already suspected will be confirmed. Um, I can also see you putting your foot down to someone that is using you or taking advantage of you. Um, there's also a caution to slow down. That's at work, at home, in your vehicle, just a generalized caution. This is a week of total victory and total success. High drive for success, new doors opening and getting everything you want. Some of you guys really working and gaining and looks like you're working towards a new home or new house. There's a hair in my face. Oh. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Your first card up, we have the King of Swords. Now, this could also represent as a Libra energy. Uh, this could be someone with a sharp tongue, someone who can get a little catty with you, uh, but I don't see a confrontation there. With that, I have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, you're moving away from something, someone or something. You have outgrown. It no longer serves a purpose to you, and you are closing the door completely on that. And we have the star, which comes with wish fulfillment. Okay, with that wish fulfillment, I'll be honest with you, this week of November 1st, you can expect a little bit of a delay. With that, we have the two of wands, future travel plans. Okay, for a lot of you, this is a visit. This could be by lake, river, and or ocean perhaps something to do with water and center of the car reading is your new beginning is in your financial sector and for some of you I think it's some hidden money or money you didn't know about that's going to be kind of present itself this way we do have the four of swords now Aries this is what I describe as the calm before the storm so it's telling you to get the rest that you need while you can and then we have the Nine of Cups, that fat happy cat. This is wish fulfillment. This twice in this reading I'm seeing wish fulfillment. Uh, it's total happiness and total contentment. Just overall the sense of being in a good spot. Two of Pentacles says if you're juggling financially, it's just temporary. There is money coming in. And we have the uh, Page of Cups coming in with an unexpected offer of love. And for some of you, I want to throw out a Pisces energy. May or may not resonate with you. So, beautiful reading here. Let's go a little bit further with this. Clarify some of these messages. And we're going to start up top with that King of Swords energy. Of what we have going on there. There again, we're looking at... Oh, it's pouring down rain. Aries, this is your week of November 1, 2021. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, financial independence, wealth. For some of you, it could be settlements coming in, loans coming in, refinances, things of that nature. To me, I think it's something that you've known about, something you've been waiting on. You guys have the magician highest card in the tarot deck this is your yes answer you absolutely get everything you want and desire and with the wish fulfillment that is what's coming rushing in what is rushing in with that the shadow side remember i said there's someone here with a sharp tongue but they're you know no confrontation you're gonna see a different side or a negative side to someone close to you or someone close in your circle with that, we have the Four of Wands. This is a relationship card. Um, all things good. I mean, this is, if you're in a relationship, if you're a couple, this is ascending to another level. So you're living together, engagements, commitments. But if you're single, then this is a potential for something to go long term. And if you're not dating anyone, it's the potential to meet that person that will go into a long term relationship. Guys are also under that death card energy. It's going to be emotional. This is reverse and new beginnings. New beginnings, endings, and closures. One door closes, one door opens. It happens all at one time. Therefore, it's going to be emotional. 
and on the nine of cups with that wish fulfillment it is the lovers part of your wish fulfillment is wanting that long-term committed healthy relationship and that's part of your wish fulfillment on the two of pentacles right beside that you've got the happily ever after let me say this, singles, I've always said, if you're seeking something of the long term, you're looking for the four of wands of the ten of cups. You have both of them here in this spread, one under the other. And on that page of cups energy, we have the page of swords, Taurus energy, new friendships, happiness, getting out. And for your bonus card, you've got the nine of cups again, three times the saying wish fulfillment over and over again. So what are you looking at this week? Absolutely wish fulfillment and getting everything you want. It's beautiful energy. Guys, JackieTomlin.com for psychic readings. Don't forget to check out your weekend videos as well as your dailies. I'll see you soon. Bye.